I'm Amber Ruffin. And I'm her gorgeous sister, Lacey Lamar. Hey, fun fact, Lacey is not that gorgeous. Amber, get on with it. Okay, everybody, we have exciting news to share. We're teaming up with Will Ferrell's Big Money Players Network to bring you our brand new podcast called The Amber and Lacey, Lacey and Amber Show. We did it. We sold a bunch of books, we conquered late night, and now we'll play fun quizzes and games with friends and take you along for the ride. Listen to The Amber and Lacey, Lacey and Amber Show on Will Ferrell's Big Money Players Network on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. I'm Jay Shetty, and on my podcast, On Purpose, I've had the honor to sit down with some of the most incredible hearts and minds on the planet. Oprah, Kobe Bryant, Kevin Hart, Lewis Hamilton, and many, many more. On this podcast, you get to hear the raw, real-life stories behind their journeys and the tools they used, the books they read, and the people that made a difference in their lives so that they can make a difference in ours. Listen to On Purpose with Jay Shetty on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. Join the journey soon. America loves its founding fathers, but that's a tough act to follow as a founding son. I'm Bob Crawford. Join me, Patrick Warburton, and Nick Offerman as we bring the sixth president to life. Was there ever witnessed such a barefaced corruption in any country before? Let justice be done, though the heavens fall. Listen to Founding Son, a curiosity podcast on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. You don't know me. A confession I can't take back. I am the masked speaker. We got a text to 78592 that says, Since I was very little, I've always dipped my bananas in ketchup and ew, thought it was ew. normal. Oh, Until yes. my boyfriend saw me do it last week and oh. he had a near meltdown. Yes. Is it that weird? Yes. yes. Yeah, Someone needs weird. to call you out. Ketchup. All the haters for pineapple on pizza just found a new enemy number one yeah, with ketchup like on bananas. Sweet yeah. and sweet and salty. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know what? On this show, we try really hard not to judge. So you can come on here and dip your truth banana right into our ears. And we're we're not even going to gag. We trained ourselves not to. That's not. Uh, No promises. Speak for yourself. Okay. Well, today we do have a guy with his banana at the ready. He's chosen to go by Richard today. Richard, welcome to the show. Do not tell me he chose Richard. Hey, how's it going? Are you serious? He did. He chose Richard. Yeah, the banana thing. I mean, maybe pump the brakes on that one. Oh, okay. Sorry, I'm the weird one, I guess. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's just so much. Richard, voice changer is wow. on. You are now the mass speaker. Whenever you're ready, no bananas in sight. <laughs> okay. We're just ready for the confession. <laughs> okay, here's the thing. I've been trying to date a lot to okay. find the one. Okay, mm-hmm. so you're serious about it. That's great. Yeah, I'm putting in the work. You know, I'm on a, a couple of different like uh, like apps and, mm-hmm. and sure. things like that. Mm-hmm. Anyway, I think I'm a fairly good-looking guy. Okay. But nice. I've been I've been lying on my dating profile. Uh oh. Yeah, but no, no, no. It's no fine. one ever lies on those. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Yeah, like how bad? We're gonna call the truth it's police. Not, it's not what most people lie about, though. Their age, height, you know, their job, whatever. Marital status. Yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> He's trying to find the one in here. That'd be terrible. He's trying to find a fourth wife. Yeah. Well, the first three weren't right for me. Yeah. yeah, yeah. What do you lie about? I, I lie about where I went to college. Where you went to school? Why? So, I'm like, on my dating profile, it says I went to a local community college because I found it's better than telling the truth, which is I went to Harvard. Uh, Wait, what? Why would that be better? Yeah. You don't mm. want them knowing that? No, I don't. It's actually a huge pain in the ass. So, like, if my date thinks what? that I went to Harvard, I just get them staring at me, you know? And then they start asking me all these questions. Yeah. And it's all centered around Harvard. What's it like? How did you get in? Did you go to school with any famous people? They always ask me if I know Mark Zuckerberg, oh, and it's awful. Yeah. Oh, that is so annoying. Do you, though, know any famous people? <laughs> um, yes, I do, because I went to Harvard. But... Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I never like, thought of that. I mean, that's a, that's a huge gap. Right? Yeah, like, is there not a middle ground, yeah. like, just, like, a state school or something? Boise State, or... woo yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, if I, if I say I went to a state school, maybe they went to the same one. Now i got to know uh, all this stuff. It's much easier if I just say I went to a local community college, quote, Okay. Unquote. Okay. So how wow. do you explain what, I mean, I'm, are you as successful in your career? I mean, yeah, I do, I do okay for I myself. I guess there's lots of people that are successful at a community mm. college. I guess that wouldn't matter. Well, that's the other thing, too. You know, if I put Harvard on there, then 
everybody thinks that I make a whole bunch of money. Or you come from a bunch of money. I mean, that's what I always assume, is that you start with money. Or you're brilliant. Like, you can act so dumb now, bro. I tell people I went to community college, Mm -hmm. and I did, but it's um, (laughs) it's a good excuse. That's the thing, is, is like, I'm trying to present as just this average guy who's just dumber than a bag of rocks, and then (laughs) when I actually meet up with someone, they're impressed. Okay, well, that was I mean, kind yeah, of rude. I was going to say, community that. college is way more relatable <laughs> than Harvard, yeah. honestly. I mean, okay. so is it working? Like, you think your dates are actually going better now that you say you go to community college than when you said you went to Harvard? Yes, they are. I mean, oh. I haven't found the one yet, but my dates are more quality. You know, I, I don't feel like a fish in a tank anymore. Oh, okay. really? I mean, you guys, you guys, you guys don't know what it's like I mean, oh cause... yeah we feel really sorry for harvard grads <laughs> it is, must be hard for you hey none of you went to a real college like harvard oh, you know, nobody me. knows <laughs> what it's like wow i don't even take offense wow honestly. wow I mean, okay. i'm just saying it's not it's not as great as everybody thinks you know? okay well, isn't yeah. harvard like the hardest college in america to get into or something i don't know yes it is so you oh. can't brag I think about MIT... one of the most biggest no. accomplishments of anyone's life i think mm. mit is actually harder to get into mm. okay. oh my god don't don't even get me started on those schmucks. <laughs> wow. There you go, Brooke. So okay. at, w- at what point, on. like, let's say you meet someone that you yeah. really want to have a meaningful relationship with. When do you explain them to- this to them? It just depends. If, like, the first date goes really well, we have a lot of common, you know, then I'll just tell them right away. Like, not a big deal. Maybe they don't even notice that that's on the dating profile. But it just seems like Got my it. dates have been more. I don't even put my best photos up anymore. I just use very average huh. so the overall message is lie on your profile <laughs> dumb, get, yourself dumb, down. Yourself, dumb it down stop like trying it. to yes. impress people mm-hmm. yeah say that your favorite artist is taylor swift you know oh, oh. say your favorite wow. say your favorite radio show is brick and jeffrey yeah people <laughs> yeah. Be like, oh, this idiot. how did you insult community college and taylor swift in the <laughs> yeah. same phone call because he's a harvard grad only you someone can. like that could oh. pull it off <laughs> I mean, we do. We have very refined taste. We um, yeah. He graduated from an Ivy League school, okay. so I would believe him, Brooke. Would yeah, he want? listens to Adele. I listen to nothing but soft jazz. Soft jazz? Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. I got a couple. Right, I got a couple other reasons why your dating life is yeah. working. Yeah. Well, uh, good luck finding the one, man. We understand your your issue, kind of. We don't. Okay, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I got you, brother. It's hard to be a Harvard grad. Uh, I bet it sounds yeah. like. Put it. that on a bumper sticker. Yeah. <laughs> Text in to seven eight five nine two if you have a confession you've been holding on to. We can mask your voice, hide your identity, and make you the next mass speaker. Got your phone tab coming up right after this. Brooke and Jeffrey in the morning. I'm Amber Ruffin. And I'm her gorgeous sister, Lacey Lamar. Hey, fun fact, Lacey is not that gorgeous. Amber, get on with it. Okay, everybody, we have exciting news to share. We're teaming up with Will Ferrell's Big Money Players Network to bring you our brand new podcast called The Amber and Lacey, Lacey and Amber Show. We did it. We sold a bunch of books, we conquered late night, and now we'll play fun quizzes and games with friends and take you along for the ride. Listen to The Amber and Lacey, Lacey and Amber Show on Will Ferrell's Big Money Players Network on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. I'm Jay Shetty, and on my podcast, On Purpose, I've had the honor to sit down with some of the most incredible hearts and minds on the planet. Oprah, Kobe Bryant, Kevin Hart, Lewis Hamilton, and many, many more. On this podcast, you get to hear the raw, real-life stories behind their journeys and the tools they used, the books they read, and the people that made a difference in their lives so that they can make a difference in ours. Listen to On Purpose with Jay Shetty on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. Join the journey soon. The biggest black market you've never heard of might be blooming right under your nose. This plant could sell for between ten dollars and $15,000 on the open market. And where there's big money, there are bigger risks. We were just tied up these big M16s stuck to our heads. I'm Summer Rain Oaks. I'm a plant expert and author. On the Bad Seeds podcast, we explore why your favorite houseplants might have a criminal record. Listen to Bad Seeds on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts.